love Facebook. I feel like anyone could be my friend anytime. Texting is my life. I lost my cell phone and I thought I was going to die. I can tell my friends exactly how I feel when I'm texting. Multiplayer online games are mainstream and getting to be a big community too. It's social like Facebook, but highly competitive and that's the driving force behind its popularity. I like my friends even better online than in person. I get to go beyond my school and my neighborhood. Anyone in the world can be my friend. The internet is where I express myself. I have to be connected to information and people online or I feel out of the loop. I like to make stuff online. It's a way for me to be creative and learn how to make new and better things. Everyone always tells me to be careful of what I post. But I want my friends to know who I am and what I'm doing. Who cares about privacy? Who cares about privacy? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares about privacy? Sure, there are dangers both online and offline. Both online and offline. There are strangers everywhere. But online, I can pick my friends. You just have to be careful. My mom says my generation is going to have fast fingers, big butts, and poor health because we just sit staring at screens of all sizes all day, every day. We like to be entertained. We like humor. We like short videos and smart visuals. Who doesn't? The future of information is fast, visual, and fun. And advertisers, teachers, and government guys should remember that. Sometimes I worry about things like the shift in journalism from print newspapers and the impact on our economy with businesses moving online. Why should we go to school and be bored when all the information in the world is available on the internet at any time? Everybody rips off stuff online. Isn't that what it's there for? I'd only pay for something if it was like life or death. Well, maybe to get a good grade in school or something. I understand copyright owners expect to be paid, but most of my friends will just seek out free information. I'm not worried about retaining my online anonymity, but I would be if I lived in some countries. How can we have verifiable online identity and trusted security and still protect human rights and free speech? Being hyperconnected is an advantage, but we don't all have it. We must work for digital inclusion. If we all buy controlled appliances like iPhones, Kindles, and Blackberries, and we start using software in a cloud and keeping our stuff there too, then what happens to innovation and to our security and to our control of our identity and property? The internet should remain discrimination free and openly accessible because access to information is a human right. Cultures blend and differences dissolve when we are one world online. But the internet can also empower global terror and intolerance. What's going to happen when virtual reality is easier to use and more attractive than the real world? My avatar will have a better life than I do. Imagine a future in which people have many different identities. You who are in power, leaders in civil society, business, government, and research, are responsible for our future. We are counting on you to listen to each other and, and to care about doing the right things today, to protect everyone's interests tomorrow, and to make it the best future possible. Work together. Work together. Work together. Work together.